So you must be disappointed after scoring a try, second game of the season, to lose the game on Sunday. What's your thoughts and reflection? Um, yeah, it was a, a tough loss. Uh, it's never good to concede so many points at home. Um, and yeah, we were in the game at that point, just after half time. Um, and the big turning point of the game was keep simbling. Uh, could have gone one way. We could have kicked the corner or kicked the points and taken the lead. Um, and it turns out they got two tries and sort of killed the game off from there, really. And we, we struggled to get back into the game after that. What have you been working on in training this week to try and rectify those things that went wrong? Um, well, it's a different team, obviously. They, they play differently, uh, they defend differently. Um, but uh, we're just looking at We know that we can uh, stick to our patterns uh, and play against their uh, defence, play wide. Um, but I think if we just do our basics, the set piece, uh, simple things done well, then I mean, we can go there and win. So you must be happy with your own personal performance on Sunday. I just um, think it went yourself. Yeah, it's nice to score, but I mean, I think I had a quiet game personally, really. Um, and I think with the, the we struggled a bit in the set piece, and our first phase we didn't um, do as well as we could have done or should have done. Um, so I, I felt really I, I struggled to get into the game. Um, obviously the try helped, but and then after that, like I said, we we ended up falling away. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I'm a bit less disappointed really with my game uh, from the weekend. So there's a chance to bounce back right away on on Saturday. Uh, how do you see this game going against London Scottish? Um, we've got a really good opportunity to go there and, uh, and win, really, take the points. Um, they're a good side. Uh, they've recruited well. Um, but, I mean, yeah, we, uh, we can go there, uh, play our game, play our pattern, um, and the game plan that we're putting in place, and go there and win. Yeah, so um, what sort of things have you been working on? What aspects of the game, technically, have you been working towards? Um, so we, we're looking at um, playing against their defence, playing wide, uh, we've got a sword pattern, um, which hopefully we can get into early uh, and attack them out wide. Um, and our pass accuracy uh, let us down. Um, and again, in training today, we, our accuracy, I know the weather's not great, but just let us down a little bit. So, I mean, if we're starting with a set piece, get into our patterns and pass accuracy, we can go there and do well. Okay. So uh, a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background. You're from Stockport, started for Sower Sharks. Yeah. How did you get into rugby to begin with? Um, I started at Maxfield. I was about six or seven years old. Um, none of my family played rugby, um, but uh, just my dad took me down to Maxfield and I played there, uh, and played there till I was 16. Uh, played some age grade stuff, um, county and stuff like that, and then went to Seba and played at Seba for two years. Uh, which was brilliant, I really enjoyed it there. And that's when I went on to sail from there. Had two years at sail and then gone on obviously to play a bit of rugby here and there and around and now I'm at Loughborough University and playing here. Okay, so uh, did you play any other sports when you was uh, a little bit younger than you are? Uh, yeah, I dabbled a bit. I played, I played quite a lot of sport really, but not very well. I played a bit of football, cricket in the summer, athletics. Uh, just I enjoyed sport, I did it all, but not very well. Rugby was the one you knew you could yeah, pursue, actually. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So I, I played a lot of rugby. It got to a point where uh, rugby went from playing on a Saturday, Sunday, where I had to then play the Sunday league football or Sunday rugby. Uh, and I knew that there was no point pursuing football and was played it? rugby on the Sunday then. So you was gifted at rugby, football, not your natural talent then? Yeah, exactly, yeah. What position did you play on the football pitch? Uh, anywhere on the left. I've got left, left footed, so I either play left wing or left back. Um, and at that age, yeah, just kick the ball and chase it. Yeah. Uh, and I had to be at the left wing just running. Okay, so uh, you say you're from Stockport. Yeah. Are you a football fan? Uh, not particularly. Um, so my, uh, my dad's dad supports Maxfield. Uh, he's a big Mac, Mac Town fan. He follows the football and rugby there. Uh, but my family, really, my brother's a big United fan. But. I'm not much of a football fan, if I'm honest. No. I watch the Champions League, and that's about it. So yeah, so rugby, your uh, your love, and you follow you follow that, pursue that. Yeah. So you must be feel, you must be really feel really lucky to have a career. Yeah, in yeah, that. yeah. I'm really lucky. Um, and obviously, at the moment, I'm doing my degree uh, to obviously have something to fall back on. But for the time being, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I had a couple of big injuries two year, two seasons ago, 
Um, but I'm really enjoying my rugby at the moment yeah, and happy to be here. It must be hard to uh, try and recover from injuries at such a young age. Uh, how has the uh, recovery gone? And um, is it like a natural progression to get back into the team? Well, I had so I had about 16 months out uh, with my injuries. I had one after the other. Um, and then that's when I signed at Rotherham last year. And I still wasn't ready then. Um, confidence and everything, just my body wasn't ready to play. Um, and then consequently, I didn't play much last year. Uh, but I've come here and had a good pre-season and my injuries are all fine now. Yeah. And, I feel much better for are, it. Are you feeling stronger then? Is yeah, much better. Just more, a lot more confident. And I don't have to worry about my ankle or my hips anymore. Um, they're all sorted and yeah. I feel much better. What was pre-season like here at Nottingham? Uh, the, good, uh, tough. Put, yeah, really tough. tough. Uh, I turned up a week later. I just finished my exams uh, and booked a holiday. I'd already had a holiday booked. Um, so I came here after my exams and then a week on holiday uh, and then hit the ground running. And uh, yeah, it was really tough. Uh, a bit of a shock to the system. Yeah, a few of the lads have mentioned the uh, Spartan time. Yeah, yeah. What's well, that like? There was Spartan time shuttles, fart like it was all horrible. But uh, when Spartan time got introduced, eventually at the end of, towards the end of pre-season, yeah, that was tough. Really Pretty tough. brutal. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what's your goals for the season then, personally? Um, coming off the back of last year, not playing much. Uh, I came here just to hopefully push for places, really, um, and just try and find a way into the team and or on the bench or just be involved, really. Uh, and it turns out we've got quite a small squad, a couple of injuries. I've had a good start to the season, getting playing both pre-season games, playing both league, league games so far. Um, so I've not really thought about it, really. I just wanted to come here and try and play some rugby, and now that I have done, hopefully push on and keep a place. So the focus is just game time and just yeah, keep exactly, building on what yeah. you've done so far. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what about the Martin Hag? How has he improved your game? Um, he just, his knowledge about rugby, he knows everything. Um, I mean, he can talk to a fullback about counter-attacking and stuff like that. And then obviously very knowledgeable with the fours and stuff like that. So, I mean, just his, his knowledge and the, the patterns he puts in place and the way to win a game of rugby, um, it's yeah, really impressive. He knows a lot. Okay, so I settled in in Nottingham. Uh, yeah, really settled in actually. Um, it took a while. I stayed, uh, lived at home for the first six weeks, uh, and travelled in. Uh, moved in um, with Nelly and Jarvo, and yeah, we're finding it really fine now. Nice little house. Um, yeah, it's nice. So what's it like living with Nelly and Jarvo? Uh, it's all right. Not too bad. We're settled in. I've, I've been doing a bit of cooking for the both. Um, trying to stop them from eating out so much, um, but yeah, it's fine. What sort of dishes do you cook? Uh, we had chili con carne last night, yeah. uh, and a little bit less rice for uh, for Nelly. Oh, all right, is he uh, less carbs then? Is he? Yeah, uh, that's uh, from Brun. Brun told me not to serve him so much rice. <laughs> all right, okay. So he likes to get his carbs down and yeah. cutting down, is he? Yeah. Okay, so um, are you are you a good cook then? Do they like your cooking? Uh, I wouldn't say a good cook. I like to cook. I like food. I like, to eat, I like eating. Um, but yeah, I just I don't mind. I've had to do it for a while. So, so uh, what do you, what in particular do you like about the city itself? Uh, I've actually not been into the city yet. Um, it's not probably quite bad. We've been to Westbridge for a while, which is really nice. Um, and just at the moment, we live in Lady Bay. Westbridge is very local, uh, and just everyone's around. All the lads are living in the same area, so it is quite nice just having everyone around. Yeah. Have you got any other hobbies apart from rugby? Uh, Play a lot of golf. Do you? Um, play in uh, pre-season quite a bit, but uh, not so much now. Um, trying to take up the guitar, but oh, I, did, yeah. I did that last summer as well. Failed, but I want to pick that up again. Um, but yeah, once I start off with my degree and stuff like that, okay. my free time will probably take up with that, really. Do you play off a handicap? Not really, no. Probably just around 18-ish. No, it's just just too hack bad, the ball then. around, yeah. I can get yeah. by. Right. So guitar, what, what's influenced you into playing the guitar? Um, what sort of bands you into? Uh, well, I just uh, a friend of mine did it, taught himself, um, and I just thought that was pretty so cool. I had a bit of that. Yeah, and um, wasn't very good, um, but I'll try and pick it up again this year. I think uh, Sean Romans has said he'll give me a hand. He's teaching Vickers at the moment, um, so yeah, I wouldn't mind just being able to pick it up. Yeah, cool. So if you had like a blank canvas and you could plan your career out. Like, you know, follow your dreams. How would you see it go? Uh, I don't know, that's a tough question. Um, 
this year, uh, have a good successful year, um, try and nail down starting spot, finish my degree, which is a big thing for me. Uh, and then once I've got my degree done, I mean, I can concentrate on rugby then. Um, and then, I don't know, see where Nottingham go next year. Um, have a good year this year, next year. And then, I've always said I wanted to play abroad. Um, so I wouldn't mind going to Italy or somewhere like that, learn a language. Um, but I don't know, I have to take you, see how it goes really.